Hey friends, today I want to introduce you to six websites that you probably haven't heard of yet, but are incredibly helpful for anyone involved in programming and web development. They're all free to use, and I bet you'll end up with at least one new browser bookmark by the end of this video. You'll see. Let's start with the first fabulous web tool that will help you considerably with your web design. If you're working on websites, you may have to deal with web design. Of course, you can rely on classics like Material Design, Tailwind UI or Bootstrap, which work well and are intuitive for the users. However, if you want to stand out with unique UI components, I highly recommend UIverse. Here you'll find over 4,000 different UI components designed with HTML and CSS only, some even with Tailwind CSS. All components are MIT licensed, meaning if you like them, you can just copy and use them. There's a fantastic selection of buttons, checkboxes, toggles, switches, loaders, inputs, and much more. Some components are just stylish, while others are truly unique with amazing animations. Additionally, there's a live editor where you can try out code adjustments directly, and if you're a CSS artist yourself, you can also publish your own UI components on UIverse. Overall, it's a fantastic website that can make your projects look extraordinary. However, you should be cautious, the components are not as robust in terms of accessibility, usability, and browser compatibility as those from well-known UI libraries. Nevertheless, UIverse is a hidden gem for me. For those of you working with APIs, which probably includes most of you, you often find yourself in situations where a server you need for development is unavailable or a new feature hasn't been implemented in the API yet. This is where mocks come in handy, but it can be cumbersome if you don't have the right tooling. Mocky is a tool that can help with that. With Mocky, you can create a mock response quickly and for free, without registration. And with just a few clicks, you can select the response status code, content type, char set, headers, and of course, the body, for example, as JSON. And that's just it. You'll get an URL that returns exactly that response. Mocky doesn't have many features, but often you don't need more. One downside is though that you can't edit existing mocks, but hey, just create a new one if you need a different response. I think the service is great and I use it frequently. And now let's move on to the next web tool, which is particularly interesting for those who struggle with writing documentation. Readme files are great for those who read them, but if you have to create them, it's often a tedious task. Not only because documentation isn't the most popular task for software developers, but also because it's not always easy to use the right structure and markdown syntax. This is where Readme SO comes in. This web tool is essentially a Readme editor. It provides a live preview, which is very useful. What makes Readme SO shine is its predefined sections that you can insert with a single click. So if you have forgotten how to format code examples or if you want to add batches, for example, you can just click on the respective section. The template is then added to your document. Moreover, if you need inspiration for what content and structure your Readme should have, Readme SO is a great help. You can edit and rearrange the sections of your document individually. And once you're done with your document, you can download it with one click. Simple, free and useful. Let's continue. Carbon is a fantastic web tool that allows you to create beautiful screenshots of your code. This is especially useful if you need to create technical documentation or if you're blogging or giving presentations. It's also great for just sharing code snippets with colleagues. It's simply very appealing when you can present your code snippets well. You can choose from various predefined styles that look great, but you can also make individual design adjustments, such as changing the background color, text size, spacing, and much more. Once you're satisfied with your creation, you can save the image as a PNG or even as a vector graphic, which I find very useful. You you can also save the configuration via the URL. And there's even a code formatter included. Overall, I think Carbon is a great tool, easy to use without registration and for free. When you're finishing up your website or web application, you often find that the FAF icon is still missing. Then you have to figure out what formats you need, what sizes, and how to integrate them. This is where this wonderful tool comes in handy, fafficon.io. Simply upload your logo and it will be converted into the necessary formats for desktop browsers and smartphones. You can download everything directly and the code for integration is included. But even if you don't have a logo, the website can help. You can generate completely new FAF icons by entering text or an abbreviation, choosing colors you like, and selecting a Google font. It's really convenient. And on top, you can also generate a simple logo using the same principle. It's great free service that I can really recommend. Last, but definitely not least, devdocs.io. Especially if you value efficiency in your development work, I highly recommend this web tool. Devdocs.io is a vast collection of software documentation, whether it's Angular, Docker, Swell, Python, or React, whatever, you'll likely find what you're looking for regarding the technologies you work with. But what exactly does DevDocs offer? With this tool, you have various documentation in one place. You don't have to Google or search for your bookmarks for the right website. 
you will find what you want to look up and you will find it very quickly because the site and the navigation are designed for speed. You can navigate entirely with the keyboard and a range of shortcuts is available. Everything is presented uniformly and clearly. You can of course pre-select the technologies you want to search so you don't get results that aren't relevant to you. And this documentation is also available offline. And if you want to access the original source, you can do so with a click. I really encourage you to try DevDocs and get familiar with the navigation. It's really, really practical. And that's it for this video. I would love to hear your feedback. Please also consider subscribing as that helps me a lot to create such videos. See you next time.